Hello everyone, we're coming to you from the Japan Pavilion. We are, we are continuing our DuckTales World Showcase adventures here. Let's do this. Alright adventurers, meet us in Japan. <laughs> We're here in Japan, looking for the illustrated scroll of Kwakagawa. Legend tells it can summon a monstrous beast powered by the elements. Never mind, Webby found it. What? No, I didn't. <sighs> Hi, I'm Webby. Ah! Oh, it looks just like her. It's uncanny. That's the plan. Is that Bob Beagle? Everybody always judges us beagles because we wear masks and are constantly robbing folks. So we came with somebody to give you a taste of what it's like. Beaks in the shell, baby! Pew, 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 pew! Mark Beaks! How many people are in that tiny robot? Just check the local flashback photograph feeds, and it ain't good. The illustrated scroll of Kwakagawa was stolen from the Temple of the Elements by Robo Emmy here, who's slowly making her way to mod the Beagle Boys. Local police think that the real Webby took the scroll because the bot looks exactly like her. Its eyes are glowing red! When have I ever done that? While the police are chasing you, dumb dumbs, we get the scroll and sell it to Beaks. And I get to add the illustrated scroll to my collection of rare historical manga, which is extensive. Beaks, you blithering buzz manga! If you mishandle the scroll, you can summon the kaiju Kwakagawa! Ooh, that story would be trending for at least an hour. Let's do that. Beaks out! <laughs> We've got to stop that bot. Perhaps if we can use the app to harness the elements of the temple, we can slow that blasted contraption long enough to shut it down. Luckily, we have our own robot expert, right, Fenton? Oh, I wouldn't say expert. I have a passing interest in biomechanical auto-intelligent cybernetics. Also, your gizmo duck. Do we? Secret identity. We literally all know. Very well. If you and the adventurer can keep Robo Webby from delivering the scroll, I should be able to analyze her weaknesses. Look out! There she is! I've literally been standing here the whole time. Move away from your current location to avoid suspicion. We're gonna go to this corner. <laughs> this is those drums. Detective! Adventurer! We got a Beagle Boy sighting near the Shrine of Elemental Wind. Robo Webby's heading to that same shrine with the scroll! Two seemingly unrelated pieces of information. But what could it mean? What could it mean? What? Head to the entrance of the Mitsukoshi store. I'm sure Dewey will figure it out by the time you get there. Go to the cover area near the entrance of the Mitsukoshi store and then press OK. This here's the rendezvous. Albert Schweinstein said before a wizard turned him into a newt. Uh, what? 
Nothing. Forget to say it. Find the stone lantern near the entrance of the castle. It's right here. Then press OK. Stand by the sign in front of the lantern. What does the captain say? It says the castle. The stone lantern is the heart of Quackagawa's flame. Trigger the app and summon the elemental power of fire to use against RoboWebby. Point your phone at the stone lanterns and press OK to see what happens. Move away and press OK. Curse me, kilts, neither science nor magic can stop it. Perhaps we could ask it politely to stop. It's a theory, just test our hypothesis here. Duck two! <gasps> oh, why are we wasting time, adventurer? Robots hate water. We flood the place, sparky short circuits, we get the scroll. But what if the robot is water resistant? And wouldn't the water cause unnecessary damage? And wouldn't the scroll get soaked? I mean, Benton, buddy, don't overthink it. Right, sure. Focus on not overthinking. Concentrate. Wait, am I too focused on it? Am I overthinking? Overthinking? Yep. Let's wet that butt. Okay, Adventurer, we got a reading on the Beagle Boys in the temple. Robo Webby's gotta be close by. Head to the shrine of elemental waters. Set the fence around the koi pond and press OK. We are near the fence. It's what the sign by the koi pond fence. What does the captain say? Well, there's people reading it right now. In one second. Uh, it says, Misha Tukogu. Any sign of the robot? Oh, I'm a heavy favorite keeper, baby. Oh, man, this is perfect. Adventurer, use the app to let those waters flow, baby. Excuse the store entrance and find the historical photos on the wall. Okay. Stand by these photos inside the store and press OK. Look at this store. Uh, what is the caption on the lower left? Service with sincerity. Where is she? I tracked RoboWebby to this location. What? No way! That thing framed me and raised serious questions about whether or not I look like a robot! Sayonara, Wakagawa! Dang it! Webby, Fenton's in trouble! <sighs> Fine. Listen up, Robo Webby. You don't like me and I don't like you, but we both like helping, so go help! She's lowered her. 
her defenses. Okay, Adventure, use the app to hack into her beak's tech. Okay, head over. Okay, control the robot. It worked! She's not evil anymore! Move outside the store and make way for Robo Webby. Okay, time to help them. Go, you Robo! Go! Call me Ultra Dog! Quick, call a tussle it! Use your app to deactivate the scroll! Adventurer, you beat the monster and got the scroll. Heroic work, Adventurer! Fendig, you can come down now! I don't know how! I think I'm somewhere in the head? Oh yeah, that's another one complete. So that's gonna wrap up our mission here in the Japan Pavilion. Thank you everyone for joining us once again today. I hope you enjoyed. So far, I think this might be my favorite one, just because of Robo Hubby. I think she's hilarious. Um, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna have more videos popping up throughout the day of more of the missions around the area. So go check those out. Until then, oh yeah.